previously on High Scores, High Stakes. Hey, dude, I'm Cardinal Smith. My name is Mr. John Sherry. Well, guys, I'm Tomahawk. And I am Mr. Love Love It. So this week's challenge game is Crash Bandicoot, speedrun of the first level in Sanity Beach. I forgot that we were supposed to do this, okay? <laughs> were you trying to gather all the boxes to get the bonus at the end? Yeah, and every time I seemed to play it, the boxes were at different places. I did way, way, way too much watching other people play Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> I, it's I, the I, box I elimination that. from Tom that's got me gas. Like, has stuff. anyone watched it? Like the, the yeah. world record speed run for Crash Bandicoot. No. <laughs> Visually, I... it looks no different from what any of us done. Yeah, the winner is is, is the other one there. Uh, I don't really have it. Nah, it's twenty three eighty five. Big Tom absolutely smashed it. So he did. The current leaderboard, obviously, Sherry's bottom. Cardinal just a solitary point above. Me on two points in second, and then big mighty Tomahawk in first with three. So it's yes. uh, long way to go, lads. One down, nine to go. One nice down. target on your back. Nice yeah, target on your back from the word go. I look forward to taking Tomahawk down. To be fair, it's awfully cocky there. There's a the smug it's, smiles. It's, 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 it's a nice. Yeah. And you get to publicly humiliate, probably Sherry. Let's be honest here. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> He was going for a perfect run. He didn't get the the memo. So forward, I'm playing. Please. I'm playing the long game. Now on to this week's episode. Hello everyone and welcome to episode 2 of High Scores High Stakes, the podcast that leaves its wristwatch in your chest cavity. I'm Mr. Lover Lover and with me as always is my fellow co-hosts. Hello, Cardinal Smith here. Happy to crush these guys' dreams and make new friends with you. Hi. Mr. John Sherry, um, started extraordinaire, hoping to get some points this week, but we shall see. And Tomahawk here, it's sitting pretty at the leaderboard. I know I have a big target on my back, but I'm hoping to hold out for victory today. Following on from our talk last week, uh, Cardinal's question about the revenge chip. What is it? How do we use it? What does it do? Okay, so we've all been discussing it. I think it's fair to say about what the, what the revenge chip should do. I'm going on the record right now, boys, and changing the rules. So yeah, I'm changing the rules of a revenge chip. What are you doing? You absolutely can he do that? Cat. I don't I think can't that's legal. <laughs> well, I'm doing it, boys. I'm doing it. It's done. <laughs> it's done. And once I said, it's on the record. Basically, what is the revenge chip? So the revenge chip is we all get one each a season. One each. And we can play it any time we want. It doesn't have to be at a particular time of an episode. It doesn't even have to be the game the episode's about. We can play it any time we want. If you feel that someone has cheated you out of points, then you can play your revenge chip against that person. So if you play your chip, you're picking the game from one of the games we're playing this season and you're creating your own challenge and you are playing that person for the points they have stolen from you. Okay, if you are unfortunate enough to get picked out for a revenge chip, you're basically playing to keep your points. Okay, it's really that simple. If you are the one who challenges the other player, if you win your challenge, you get the points and you keep your chip so you can play it again in the future, should you want. If you call someone out and lose your challenge, then your revenge chip's gone forever, boys. It's done. See you later. That's see you later. Rip. It's going to be great. <laughs> it's going to be great. Let's see them being played, boys. <laughs> Take it to another level there. That's it. Why not? Why not? You never know what's going to happen. Makes perfect sense. I mean, uh, we've got Sherry sitting bottom of the table. He's going to have to win a lot of grudge matches here now. He's going to, if, if this is the only way he makes up points, then, then God help him. That's right. I could make a career out of this. <laughs> I mean, I mean, make my name off your all, all your backs. <laughs> what's up? Mixed deal with sort of real, really high stakes, low scores. Is that the name of the podcast? <laughs> oh, it's okay. <so> <laughs> We'll see. <laughs> if if Sherry's <laughs> performance on 
Crash Bandicoot say anything going by? I don't think Sherry's Grudge Chip is anything to fear here, gentlemen. Not at all. <laughs> there's, there's a few games in there, I reckon. I could beat every all you on. I know the the Sherry cat will have its time. So yeah, so that is the the Grudge Chip ins and outs. We all understand everything's Gucci. Got it. Perfect. Perfect. And speaking of playing games, uh, what have you been playing this week, guys? We'll, we'll start with Cardo. What, what have you been playing? Yeah, anything decent? Anything you, you want to chat about? Anything decent? Absolutely not. Uh, well, <laughs> OG Division. I've been playing it with my brother. Fantastic time. Top level, top tier from scratch. Just for the crack. The Fallen or- uh What do you call the Jedi Fallen Order? Fallen Order. Uh, sur- yeah, yeah. Yes, really enjoying the old ginger Jedi experience. <laughs> the, the Prince Harry of the Star Wars universe. <laughs> the Prince Harry. He's demanding privacy. Sorry, right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a quality game, that uh, Fallen Order. It's just, I, I've done the one run through of it, so it's, it's on my list to go do it again on actually beyond the um, manufacturer's difficulty. It's it's Ooh. a killer. It's an absolute killer game. Yeah, yeah, but it is. I haven't I haven't attempted that. Uh, but what I have been told is my brother told me his ten year old son has played it through multiple <laughs> times, and I I pick it up and I get destroyed by some wild beast. Yeah, <laughs> it makes yeah. me feel any better. I finished it on easy. I dropped it down because yeah. I'm not about that Dark Souls life. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, 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 not that Dark Souls life. <laughs> I I. I'm not a fair kick away from that either. I, I bumped it up and then quite quickly realized I got to a certain point. It was the forest jungle level where all the animals just destroy you. And I bumped it straight back down to, to normal and played it through normal. I have no regrets. I don't think I'll ever play it in a harder difficulty because even on that, the final boss was absolutely Perfect. brutal. Brutal. The final boss is horrible. It's not Ugh. even a good boss fight either. It's not. So it is. You know, as far as as far as it goes, because it's looking forward to that. Would you call it a kids game? Would you say it's marketed to nope. like children of no. the franchise? No, not at no, all. just me. <laughs> not at all. What would you think is a kids game? No, I just thought it was like a three plus rating. So here's me thinking, it's going to be grinded out, make it as easy as possible for people to like you know, unlike us who are chronic uh, warriors about finishing games. I mean, I think I think the ratings is just for content like language <laughs> yeah, like Elden Ring oh be 12s but I can't imagine a 12 year old beating Elden Ring well maybe I could be wrong oh, I could like <laughs> apparently Cardinal's 10 year old nephew is amazing games or at least maybe he is by the time he's 12 advice. by the time he's anyway, 12 what have, you, what, what have you guys been playing I Never mind me. have been playing Hogwarts Legacy yes and what Ooh. a game Beautiful. What I, I'm not very far I did. I'm still like doing stuff that's very tutorialized and I haven't even unlocked there's like a talent tree or something. I'm assuming that's what it is because it says talent, so I'm assuming that's, that's a talent tree. <laughs> um <laughs> still didn't unlock that yet. And I still haven't got my broomstick. So I'm still very early doors on that. And I have been bouncing between the Diablo two and three and also Riders Republic. Okay. What a game. <laughs> what a game. Absolutely obsessed you are. I love that game. It's so good and it's so underrated. Like it actually annoys me to the point that everyone's like, "Oh, Ubisoft games are awful and they're all the same thing." Go play Radish in Public then. Go play Radish. I go play the Crew too while you're at it. This is quickly becoming the Ubisoft podcast. So it is. (laughs) I'd like to introduce our 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 guest for this evening is Eve's (laughs) Gilmo. What all? I still don't like Assassin's Creed. I probably never will, but. Riders Republic and the crew. You've been blasting that Riders Republic for a very long time. And I'll never stop until they take it down. (laughs) Next week. (laughs) Due to comments on a small podcast, we are decided to take Riders Republic offline. (laughs) What about you, Tomahawk? Love it. You'll love this. I started playing Alien Isolation again. Yes! Yes! This is my third attempt at this. I have played it. I love it. I think I, I think everything about the game is utterly perfect. It has this it's perfect blend. Bioshock meets, you know, the alien like into the alien franchise. Every time I play it, I hit a roadblock and then I just uninstall it and then leave it for six months. But I've made my mission to commit and actually try and finish the story. 
out of curiosity, I think I might know where your roadblock is. What's your roadblock? Um, go to the flashback. You talk to the prisoner, and you do like a flashback mission. Oh, okay, okay, so that's way further than I thought it was going to be because I think Alien Isolation. Never this. Alien Isolation was one of the first games I think I streamed from start to finish, and I remember mission six, which is the mission where the alien gets introduced, and you have to get through the med bay. I, yeah. I, that took me he had just... such a good game because it does so much character building mm-hmm. for the for the alien without actually having it on screen it takes about two or three hours of gameplay for it to actually show up in story to come up yeah six missions in six missions and it's about the halfway point of mission six before it comes in and it's it's yeah. brilliant and it's, you think about it like I mean, it's Amanda Ripley who's like this incidental mentioned character in the director's cut of aliens <laughs> like if you haven't such seen the director's peripheral... cut you don't know she existed <laughs> Yeah, it's such a peripheral character, but they've made such a great story from mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. As I said, it has this perfect blend of like Dead Space meets. Um, yeah, no, it, it's it is ugly. Fun. I don't give it the time. I don't nearly give it the time of day, but I made it my mission now. I because I'm getting distracted trying to play online stuff at the minute, so mm-hmm. I figured something that's just story, and I can just go point A to point B and hammer it home. Hopefully, yeah. for the brilliant. third or fourth. One of my favorite games of. The last gen, like brilliant. And speaking of last gen, PS4 is last gen, and that's why I upgraded my PS4 to a PS5, gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this this week I have been playing Demons, the Demon Souls remake. Brutal, brutal. The first mission's fine. The first level's fine, and like the boss is like a very definition of a tutorial boss. It's, it's really quite simple, and it can be beaten with with fire. Like really, really quickly, really easily, just melts, literally melts in front of you, uh, and then once you get to level one, two, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, <laughs> it becomes absolutely brutal. Because I thought this is much easier. Blue Point have toned it down, but they did not at all. So now I beat World One Two, Natar Knight to defeat it, and now on two one, and I've got to. I think it's metal or armor spider or something it's called it's the most ridiculous thing you ever likely to see you can just fire fireballs from his abdomen at you repeatedly and if he's not firing them he's firing webs and if they get you it sticks you to the ground and all you can do is protect yourself from the fireballs that home in on you it's just it's hard, oh my <laughs> it's hard. but it's really good it is really good plus it looks stunning and the wee dual sense controller all its wee noises that is really it's a Game changer that controller. It's brilliant. The Wii Just speaker, so the speaker and the good. controller yeah. is nothing revolutionary. But just the fact yeah. that it uses like incidental sounds from the world when it's vibrating really tricks your brain into thinking like, that you're. There's been a few games that's given me jump scares. The but controller? Just like, yeah, you hear like a wee voice. You're like, <laughs> why is he playing nighttime in the dark? Like, so I just hear a wee voice when you're not expecting it. Uh, it in Demon Souls, I think it's in 2 1, you go up like a, a lift. But it's chain driven, and when you get on it, you can feel the controller vibrating, and it makes like a little chain noise every. And then when you get to the top, it gets louder, and the vibration gets stronger. And it really tricks your brain to think I can feel that chain. It's It's brilliant. It's awesome. It's awesome. Because remember the PS4 tried to do that like very Mm -hmm. early doors, especially whenever back you know going back to Alien Isolation as well when you would hide from the Xenomorph. I'm convinced that it would pick up. Uh, ambient noise from, from the does. microphone. It does. It does. That's what you caught out. That's what they sold it on as well. Like it, you know, it, your microphone is picking you up. It's the camera, that I end. think, because I don't think it does. PS4 have a mic built in. It was it not the PlayStation mm-hmm. camera? It was the was camera. The camera? Yeah. No, I tell I, Yes, it was the camera. I think it was the camera. And if you like, because I remember when I was streaming it. Obviously, I'm talking to the audience, um, and just I was like, "Why is this thing finding me?" And then I remembered, mute the camera. <laughs> The camera. Uh, it's brilliant. It's, it's brilliant. Alien Isolation was brilliant. I just remember hiding in lockers and you see the alien come in and leave and you think it's doing set patrols, but it's not. Oh, it's, 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 eliminating, yeah. it's eliminating hiding spaces. Uh, will eventually, if you stay in one hiding spot for too long, the alien will run out of places to look for you and open it. It's brilliant. What a game. Absolutely oh, terrifying. Yeah, I wish I it got a sequel. Well. I, I wish it got a sequel. Give me neighbors. <laughs> Absolute spooked me senseless even seeing people stream it. Unreal. Brilliant game. Hard. 
hard 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 is exactly right i think it's more the the problem i have is androids it's not so much the the alien or other mm-hmm. human characters it's the bloody androids secondly i think it's because even no matter where you are in relation to them they'll find a way to grab you do yeah. some serious damage as yeah, well hit, hitboxes are weird mm. there's a couple of bits coming up um once you get through it you'll fall to the bottom of the space station and then you Dude. have to climb your way up and there's one point it's like the area in the game is near the start of where the game begins but there's mm. one part of the mission i think it's like mission 13 or 14 there's one part where you have to run to a fuse box kick start it and then run back the way you came but it's a single thin corridor and the aliens patrolling so you have to use all of your repertoire of items. It's hard. <laughs> and of course, when you're operating levers and stuff, or even save points, the alien can yeah, kill that's you. that's right. The alien yeah. can kill you. If, if the alien gets to you before you put your save card into the wall, then your game's not saved. I'd end up putting the console in the wall. It's amazing. Happened. It's amazing. It's I thought, I thought, so good. I thought Alien Isolation took survival horror, like what worked with survival horror, sort of like Resident Evil, you're... Your ink ribbons, I think ink ribbons were genius. And Alien Isolation doesn't give you like a finite resource like ink ribbons, but that wee card that you have to put in the wall is the perfect like modern day substitute for so it. You, you have to get your three saves. lights. You have to get mm-hmm. your three lights as well, otherwise you can be killed mid save yeah. or you know pre save. You effectively have unlimited saves, but you've no quick save feature, so you can't abuse that. And you have to be certain that when you run to that save point in the wall, that you have the the time to see if it's genius i want a yeah. game i might start playing it oh, again. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited to get going but at the same time it's i know how frustrating it is and i just i need to i need to power through any any blocks that I ha- that usually come my way on it but who knows yeah. today this might be, this run through might be that might be it for me well that's what we've been playing individually let's move on what we've been playing as, as a group here guys and the challenge game this week is of course surgeon simulator <laughs> <laughs> surgeon sim we, the challenge this week we decided to keep it quite simple um it was the first surgery which is heart surgery and for points this week we decided to split the surgery down the middle you get measurements of time and blood remaining in the patient so we decided there are points available for blood and time so the person who gets the fastest operation will get three points the person who does the slowest operation will get zero points and likewise with blood um if you are listening to the podcast i just want to remind you that there is there is a video podcast as well if you want to just switch over to the video version and you can watch the gameplay as we talk about it as well for two people we get three points or maybe one person to get all six hey knows? very very confident Night. going in I hope. I hope you get zero. I hope you get zero. No one is beating my runs. I can. I can tell you that right now, boys. Categorically, it's really good. It's interesting. It's a really interesting challenge going in because it's very much. Do you? I'm panic and try and finish as quick as you can, but massacre the the patient, or do you go slow and steady? Lose points in the time, but in points in in blood in lack of blood loss i should say i for the context of everyone listening to this uh mr lover lover shared an image of himself deleting the game he was that confident about his submission after he completed it i'm i'm, I'm telling you you know when you do something you're like that is the best one i'm ever gonna do and then i just called the quits i learned from crash bandicoot where i drove myself insane trying to beat my best score and just couldn't and i was like don't know what put the controller down delete it i, I thought about burning the playstation ah. <laughs> you, you could have though to be fair you got the five right? whereas i think i was on the flip side i had submitted mine and went could do better <laughs> no <laughs> no i knew fine right yeah i would i would never get any better in this game <laughs> it wasn't easy it wasn't easy to be fair but that's the whole point, I suppose. Was the... the whole thing is just an exercise in frustration from, from top to bottom. Don't know what, though. I, said that. I really liked it. I went on to the brain surgery. <laughs> oh, my goodness. 
See, yeah, I, I remember playing it back in the day. I, the first time I ever played this was on Steam. So all of the so you had your I U I O P were your individual digits. That that that's frustrating. At, at least at least on a console, at least on a controller, that's it's a bit tidier. Yeah. Two buttons. Yeah, I, I, that was the feeling I got from it initially. Was this is like Guap? Do you remember Guap? G W O P. It was like a, a G W O P was your two arms and two legs. And you had to make a person run. Mm. Oh, like you would play this in like in school? Yeah. Right. Grind. Well, not. Um, there wasn't much about when I was at school. Mini clip. New grinds. Oh my goodness. <laughs> But new grinds, so whatever. Was that was called new grinds? Yeah, yeah, yeah. New grinds and mini clip. Was a few big ones. <laughs> yeah. So I don't, I don't know about you guys, right? But this challenge, my initial maybe half an hour, forty-five minutes, I was like, right, I need to get a, a run together that minimizes blood loss, but it's quite fast. And then it became very apparent very quickly that it's one or the other you can't i couldn't do both and my tactic was if i cut him i'm butchering him but i'm doing it fast <laughs> yeah my tactic was just finish it because just getting to the finish line was hard enough like i literally like the run i submitted i started going i'm either going to finish this or i'm going to eclipse 10 minutes and i'm just going to stop because I could not, for love the money, it took me about an hour and a half to get the one I completed on, like in the bag. I just could not do it. And you'll see. I will. I will say I did cheat, but I'm not. I'll tell you that when we're watching it, right? Not that, I didn't. I didn't get someone to what? play for it. I didn't cheat that badly, like. But I will explain it. You will see. I didn't try to hide it. You will see. I promise. I will explain myself. Just not. <laughs> I, I, no, I never played it. I never Point played this game pointed. before. We'll come back to Cherry Chain, but <laughs> this Surgeon Simulator came out in 2013 originally. Uh, now it's on the the uh, the PlayStation PS Plus, so you can download it for free if you're on there. But it's a physics game, so since it came out, and I never played it before because I'm horrendously squeamish with blood. Uh, it's, we've had full guys. We've had uh, Human Fall Flat, a kind of fun physics games. I thought, you know what, I've played those bit of practice now. I'll come in and give this a good go. And I, I, I watched one video just to give myself an idea of what the level was. Search. Good stuff. Um, but I, I didn't do it. Not quite in the same regards as Crash. Crash, I watched it, and it was just like, I didn't. There's, I'm not going to be able to repeat that. I've just tried. My buttons don't make the same things happen. And this felt like, oh, I could do that. And it didn't quite work out that way. But, but. Uh, I mean, like, it's solid, solid advice. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I did watch. I, I did it like maybe once or twice. And it was like, I have no idea what this game wants me to do. And I did watch one or two videos. Maybe he goes by two videos. I was like, oh, okay. That makes sense. Um, like the first, my... <laughs> I wish I saved my first attempt because my first attempt, I didn't even lift the tarp. I just got the hammer. <laughs> what the time this birthday? I'm pretty sure I was called attempt of murder. <laughs> That's it. I did if I was like sort of whopping it. I was like, oh. I don't even, I don't even know. And I was like, oh, first of all, you got to first time I watched, I was like, okay, first of all, the thing you got to do is you got to expose the and i was like oh of course <laughs> of course that makes sense that makes sense <laughs> you're supposed to see what you're doing of course <laughs> who knew who knew <laughs> uh, right enough yeah, really, I'm, I'm using one app wrong. i think for me going forward going even looking into it my uh experience was watching a ton of gray's anatomy i thought if they can do it they can do it <laughs> If Sandra Oh what? can do it, yeah. so can I. They don't, have to be, that I don't. They don't have to be good at what they do, they just have to look good while they're doing it. That's it. See, my one was just be fast. Like Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Gotta go fast. 
<laughs> Gotta go <laughs> fast. I, I mean, to be fair to you, like, I did, I think I enjoyed it. I liked it. I, as I said, I did go on to the brain surgery. Um, I liked it. I, it's really, really difficult, really quite frustrating, um, but fun. Really, really good fun, actually. You can tell that it's a real independent game back in the day. It's very um, rudimentary. Yeah, yeah, but I think we were all chatting just before we started this as well. This the soundtrack being like a weird casualty thing. Rip off, yeah. Tickled me, tickled me. I think in my recording as well. Um, I didn't realize that the <laughs> PlayStation Five controller has a microphone in it. Oh God! So <laughs> read about a commentary. There's a, there's a running commentary, but also there's a couple of. Uh, I don't I don't know if everyone else did this. I did. But the control scheme originally wants you to use like the six axes. The yeah. tilt gyro. I turned that off and I used the right thumbstick. You chose well. Oh, I did not. No, I didn't. One handed. So I had my right hand doing the surgery, drinking tea. So there's loads of. <laughs> so I was the whole way through it. I sent drinking tea. And then at the end of it, like. <laughs> I'm not even going to read it. At the end of it, you'll hear me exclaim how amazing this is <laughs> and how none of you stand a chance. And I stand bad. I think I'm winning the full six. This is... L look here, look here. This is a lot of big mouth talk. Okay. I think we should get into it. Show the goods. Show the before goods. We, is there anything else we need to explain before we get into the the uh, the meat and balls? I mean... I... I don't, I don't. I really don't think so. It's really self-explanatory. We're doing a, a heart surgery. We have to break ribs, remove a lung, remove a heart, and put a new one in. You don't I mean, as queen, cleanly as possible. I mean, it's very self-explanatory. As queenly. As queenly. Yeah, as queen. Right. Uh, um, I d I will say one thing. Is this is strange for us because unlike our Crash Bandicoot, which took two years to make, this is legitimately took not me. Wait. Took me two minutes. <laughs> Seven days. We haven't shared our run with one another. So yeah. none of us know how the other one is done. And I'm just going to say, I'm going to be horrific. It's going to be horrific. What about your run? I'm really excited. I want to see it. Show me it. Shall we get into the challenge? Let's yeah. crack on. Shall we get into the challenge? Okay. Cool. I'm going to say, do you want to choose who goes up? Or do you want me to spin oh. this wheel of names? In the wheel. In the wheel! <laughs> spin the wheel! Spin the wheel! Um, okay, I don't know how well you can actually see this because the camera effects. You're like, you're like Michael McIntyre right now. Fantastic. The wheel. <laughs> yeah, the wheel. the wheel. Love is first. Oh, wow. Okay. Love is up first. So it's all chat. Winning certain sim attempt. <laughs> that, that's how confident I am. Look at this here. Look at these production values. I bet you know you did this at all, right? Here we go. We just Absolutely watched. didn't. Okay, so I took off the tarp to start off with because I, I sort of struggled to get off, but then I just took the hammer and went straight to town on Bob's right ribs as you look at it. I don't know why we go left, but have some of that anyway, Bob. I just sort of went to town. Now watch this for <laughs> surgical precision, please. Just run it up and down. <laughs> Look at this here. Boom, bump, bump. See us later, boys. And then I just sort of put the hammer away. Because I don't need it anymore. We're done. Just watch. Just watch this. This is beautiful. This is just like... And then, see it there. We bit a bow. Have at you. Because I did this and the lungs got stuck on broken shards of bone. So we had to get rid of the big lumps. And then you can just yeah, rip the lung out, toss it in the floor. It's clean. It's a surgery room. Don't worry about it, Bob. Don't worry about it. And then this is when I really struggled. This was the hardest part of the run. Picking up the sky. <laughs> and then when I pick it up, it's not ID, but I have to work with what I got. But look at this. Not an ounce of blood lost. Not an ounce. Big Bit of showboat in here, just... Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, God. Go oh. So my tactic was, I noticed very quickly on, you listen for the heartbeat, and once it stops, you've disconnected it, and then that's when you go straight for the second heart. Look at this. I mean, boom. Look at this. It's just surgical precision. It's unreal. You, the heart goes you didn't, out. Even, you didn't put the heart out. You the, first heart, the first heart's in the <laughs> What? 
He's like a cub. So there's a load of. There's <laughs> a load of my tactics here, okay? That's ridiculous. Okay, one minute. What is it? One minute thirty-nine. Yeah. It's Jesus a... Christ. And it's pretty clean too, boys. I'm not gonna lie to you, okay? So one of the first things I noticed was you don't have to take the original heart out. And I noticed this by accident. When I was trying to get the heart out of the box, I dropped it and it went in and the surgery finished. And that's how I find that out. I wish I knew that. Oh my goodness. This is right. bad. It's not hard out. This is bad. <laughs> I told you. My run's a wee banger. I gotta tell you, I was worried when I seen your run time. And then I was like, oh, he's just heavily edited. it. And then now that I know that you didn't, I think I should just I should just disconnect from this call and just leave. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 don't give him the satisfaction. <laughs> up yourself, pick it up. I went into this thinking if I could just do this fast, I'll get three points. And if you if you notice, Cardinal, can you put it back to when I put the scalpel in the second time? So when I pick up a scalpel, so the hardest part of this run for me was picking up the scalpel. So it was it was I couldn't get the scalpel at all. And then, if you notice it, when I put it in the Bob's chest, I stab him at the top right. And that's where the blood loss comes from. I actually don't lose any blood from the surgery. It's just my terrible, terrible positioning of the scalpel in the hands. So it is, but Back and slash. this was a good, good surgery. And I'm just like, I can't be, I'm, I'm, no, I'm not being that. So if you watch it, so I, I try to put it in, I try to angle it. That's what I'm trying to do here. And then stab him, but I stab him here. And that's where the blood loss comes from. Yeah. So it's not actually from the surgery. So I, I, I realize he's bleeding. I... It, it, it's a bit from there. It's a bit from yeah. where you're just flinging yeah. the knife around. It's just, it's just me because I picked it up too high. And then I just realized I've got to go fast. Let's just get this done. And as I said, the, the, the run before this, maybe two runs or three runs before this, I noticed you didn't have to take the original heart out. <laughs> just throw the new one in there. That's insane. So if there's any universe maker who's watching this and wants to give me an honorary doctorate, you know, I'm I'm all ears. Make me your offer. We I think we better move on. Um, uh, from Dr. Lava here. I've got the PPA. I, I'm ready to go with two hands. I mean, that was with one hand. Imagine what I do with two. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Imagine the damage you could do. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> two doubles. Let's see. Be he's... calls from Johns Hopkins anytime soon. <laughs> Who is that? Who's that? Oh, that's Sherry. Oh, great. Yes. There we, we go. go. From the best to quite possibly the worst. I'm, my All my confidence is gone. <laughs> Time for me to mask up. It's going to be... It's going to be a bloodbath, but it's going to be good. Sherry, is your mask on? Anything you want to say before you go? Um, sorry to this man's family. <laughs> 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 like, oh, let's, let's just don't pay attention to the runtime, right? Oh, hold right. on, I'm just noticing the, the, the video length here. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to worry about the video length. See, I thought this was going to be common for everybody around this sort of time. <laughs> but you see, I'm very, very gentle here. You got to clear your workspace, keep it nice and clean. Hygiene, hygiene is your priority here. Look at that, look at that. See that caution? You don't want to cut yourself with these sharp instruments. Right? Completely different to Lover here. We're just gonna, right. we're just gonna, we're gonna tease it first. Like you don't want to go straight in. There, you just need to tease it. Like, ooh, yeah, like, oh, oh, yeah. Oh. There we go. Two at once. Look at that. A two for. Oh, oh, good. Oh, 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 oh my oh. goodness. Right, this is what Hi. I started. Getting, this is what I started getting concerned about the blood loss. <laughs> but, uh, not, not, not enough to do anything about it. <laughs> how did Quite my a high rate? <laughs> how did my scalpel do more damage than that drill? <laughs> Because I'm being careful, you were just flinging it around like a serial killer. <laughs> you were just throwing the hammers around like as if. Like, look, at the, look at the precision <laughs> here. Look at this. Like, oh, no, don't worry about that. Like, that's just Nick. That's just <laughs> yes, pre precisely through that the skin. Hat. Oh, look, there goes the watch. watch. <laughs> See you, watch. Bye. Oh, sorry, I missed that. I was too concerned about where the watch was going to go there. <laughs> I was really so, attention to where the drill was going. So you have decided to take out the. The entire rib cage. Rib cage. Yeah, I thought you had to. You see? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Because oh. as I, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> I oh, as I oh. mentioned earlier on, 
this was my I can't do this and this is my last attempt. <laughs> <laughs> like, see, I was, I was gonna, like, have a bit of that, mate. Have a bit of that. Oh. Why that? did you do that? Because it takes, it stops blood loss completely. What it does? It stops the syringe. Blood. So you just <laughs> jab him in the face? It doesn't matter. I've already lost more blood than I did the entire time anyway. <laughs> We've already surpassed your time. Did like, anyone? This, this is what this is a good example of what you're talking about, lover. About the uh, yeah. stuck in lumps of bone. <laughs> oh, it's lo- it's oh. <laughs> See you later, lover. Oh. Easy, or stomach, whatever that is. Oh, what is that? A liver, I, I think. I'm not sure what it is. It's gone. Like, like, this, this one's just like grease dancing in his stomach. I have but a bit yeah. of that. Look at that. <laughs> On your head, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to need it. He's not going to need it. But you see what I mean? See, if you leave too much ribs, you can't get the organs out clean. So yeah. you have to... That's why you just take the hammer. Blah, 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 blah. See it. Um, did anyone I mean, else? I was, really, I was really trying there to pull out. I see the tension in the wrist there. I was like, just Were not happening. Using... I was like, I, get it. I was using right stick. Right stick, as he was me. Rotation, yeah. Oh, why are you doing the hammer? Don't need him yet. I'm just moving out of the way. Ah. It shouldn't even be here, in my opinion. It shouldn't be allowed. Here we go. <laughs> See, this is, why, this is the way I wished I'd pick up my scalpel. I would have been oh. totally clean if I picked it up correctly. Oh, I'm uncomfortable watching this. Don't, I'm being real, Maitland. Yeah, Maitland. This is careful. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. I mean, that's careful. This is what I was like. Why is this not cotton? So I was like, just going to town at this point. I was like, cut. <laughs> just literally, just please, just fall off. I don't even know what I'm cutting. Like, what is that? I mean, everything. That's the stomach. That's the esophagus. I think. Yeah. The pink thing is oh. definitely the esophagus. See, this, this is when I, this is when I thought I had it, and I was like. You know what? I need to sort this guy's blood loss out a bit. But then I was like cautious by cutting myself here, so I was like trying to be gentle there. Here, here's a question: Did anyone in any of their attempts jab himself with a needle by accident? Because yes. I did. Yeah, I and did. Go, like yeah. it becomes you impossible. Can't everything. Yeah. yeah, you can't see everything. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going back in here to get the scalpel because uh, like, I love the way you're using like your thumb and finger. You don't use the rest of your hands. You're like everything's like pinch movements. Well, that's precise, yeah. as you can see. But well, we're going to come this... up to the point where I was alluding to earlier on, where I had a wee bit of cheating going on, but yes. obviously not. In... I probably should have cheated about three minutes ago, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> what was the cheats, anyway? What were you doing? So, once I get... I eventually get this off, as you're about to say. I think it's round about this point. I get this part off. Maybe it's not. The heart's still I... going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know the... I take everything out. Everything's gone. Or at least disconnected, <laughs> anyway. Um, but I get to this point where I disconnect this part, and then I try to grab the heart for like a good minute. So you <laughs> I'm like, the, why the can't I? There, yeah, there. Right, that's, that's the, the stomach. stomach gone. See you later, yeah. kid. That's a disconnect. But you can't lift it out. You can't. You just need to tilt your hand down proper. I did. You, you will see. Okay. Yeah. I see. <laughs> I can. I. I can't get my fist any further in there. Oh. You know what I mean? There's, there's no proper spear. in there. There's no <laughs> right. spear. Like, like, so this is what I was like. Oh, I do we try like, to do this surgery? I mean, you're, you're... <laughs> So I do this for like another, like maybe like a minute. <laughs> Go on, what is going on? At this point, I'm ready to launch my dual shock across the room, <laughs> and I'm like, maybe I need to cut it some more. I think maybe you're thinking maybe he needs another jab here in the face. We yeah, because I'm like, talks. It's gonna take me about half an hour. He's gonna he's bleed bleeding out. from the temple. Yeah, but he's not losing any blood, so it's all good. What's going on here? Like, he's not <laughs> losing blood. He's clearly losing blood. <laughs> he's not. It's... it's like it's stopped already. It's just oh. the adrenaline. So like like look like, like yeah, come on. Come on. Like why can't I lift that out? Why is this not a feature? Why can't I not lift it out and just start swinging it around like a lasso? I mean, I'm not gonna oh, lie to you here, lads, but I look at my fingers, you can just go like a little I mean, like, He's paused face. it never <laughs> Yeah, I paused it because I went to YouTube to Google this drum to figure out what I'm supposed to do and I was like, Oh, you're supposed to disconnect the heart. <laughs> uh, mm. You just think you could just Tear it to shreds and rip yeah, it. And then, and then I realize I'm holding the sharp point and I need to put it back down because that's dangerous. Hang on, your version of cheating is finding out what the mission is. It yeah, it's just doing what you did at the start. So basically, yeah. Mc... Sherry's cheating here is what we all did before we started. Yeah. Well, apart from, well, I, to be fair, I didn't look I, up on YouTube because I, I felt that was cheating. But when I was trying to do surgery through a tarp, uh, you know. <laughs> Certain things like, need to happen. And then I was like, I need, at this point, I was like, do I need to completely disconnect this? Like, yes. what is going on? Why can't right. I lift this? Because it's still no, like, it, no, As you can see, I've just completely disconnected the. I've 
massacre this uh, man's inside. It's like I mean, like his esophagus <laughs> is gone. Like, yeah. like he's gonna need one of those wee wee bags for eating now. Like uh, I still haven't clicked on it. All this I have clicked on now that you actually have to disconnect the heart. You just can't rip it out like a Mortal Kombat <laughs> movie. Like Daenerys Targaryen, <laughs> just start eating. It. <laughs> oh. I should have grabbed. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. This is this is incredible to watch. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, so it is. This is just pure incredible. To watch. Oh, look at this. this. Like, this look at this. Here. Skill here. A bit of magic. Just make it a levitate there. I mean, this like, is like surgeon okay. simulator equivalent of a 360 no scope, isn't it? Oh, that's the heart gone. Oof. Is. It's very much two sides of the the Pettigrew coin here. One, the cool calm collected. The other, panic, panic, panic. <laughs> Just yeah, a it's... lot of blood gone here. Yeah, but, but I still they, at least good. For, them, for, the, for the amount of time, I think it's pretty good. It's like literally, I think I finished up with about half of his blood. Okay, still in his body, like. <laughs> it's interesting though that you go for multiple like syringes where I didn't realize that I thought it was a one. See, I thought I thought the amount of blood he has here was enough to get me the three points, but see, as I we th- can already tell it isn't. And then I was like, "Why is this not connecting?" And I was like, "Oh, there we go." I thought the syringes were there to trip you up to make you do that weird thing where the surgery becomes impossible. <laughs> I didn't realize they were actually oh. useful. I have it was there I to actually be. I um, if I had it known that, I would have finished with over four thousand mils of blood. No problem. This is definitely a couple seconds after watching my run, so it is. It's definitely not four days later at all. Maitland, spin the wheel, there, boy. Who's next? Get spitty. Here we go. Oh, don't fit it out. Don't fit it out. Cardinal. 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 Okay, Let's watch now it. we find out. Surgery masterclass here. I can't wait. Now we find out what happened here over in Cardinal Hospital. You all ready to go? I'm ready. Was born I'm praying you're. I'm praying you're at least eight minutes here. So. <laughs> We're I think I might go make it. a sandwich for this one. I've had a great start. That oh, covers over. I've lost the watch already. Didn't need it. It's gone. <laughs> and I've already struggled. Now, let me tell you, I did something different in that I used the tilt action. Right. So you didn't change yeah. it to the right stick? No, I'm tilting this boy. Incredible scenes. Incredible. Delicate. Delicate. It's pure tacker, so it is. Look how polite oh. he is with it as well. He's... He's caressing those ribs with the saw blade. Get through them, but that's what I say. It's the same that's sort of it. approach I took, but his blade actually seems to be cutting them. Yeah, because the blood's going down <laughs> rightly. <laughs> also I didn't actually quicker. notice that about how He's much not... the, the blood went down. Oh, that's a bit concerning. You're, you're not causing any loss, Rich. You haven't cut anything open yet. No, you just it's just normal blood loss from operating. So you went to both sides of the ribs as well, like uh, Sherry did for, for some reason. Oh, what I, I thought I had to cut through them all. Yeah. <laughs> Why? You weren't, the, you weren't the only one, Carno. We all didn't know that you could put in two hearts and get like a minute. Well, yeah, okay. I didn't know like you could I mean, suddenly become a, a Doctor Who person and suddenly have two hearts, like Chris or sorry, Lover. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Now I had a wee bit of struggle here, so I've gone for a lack of blood loss, and then I've. The whip that lung out there at last. Just thought this. Uh, out there, I thought I thought I'd maybe try and go for the second lung. I don't know why. <laughs> I didn't need to, but well, you were taking it anyway. I, I give it a good tug and then just decided, you know what? I'll leave it in. He can breathe for a while yet. <laughs> Things were in the way here. Just grab Obviously, it. Just grab it. It's right there. Just grab it's it. right there. Just to put your hand down. Pick him up. It's a wee scalpel. Oh, look at this. Look how he picked it up. What? Look at that. Look, look at this. Beautiful action. See the you one finger? up on the second one one finger? And now we get to the cutting action. It's like Madame I Death Strike. can't even see what you're doing. Well, I can. I can't. I didn't know where I was cutting. Because I can't see at all. Now we're starting to see a blood loss rate. And that we'll start to see that change. But it's only two mils per sec. Oh, three. Okay. It's like Madame Deathstrike. You're you're holding the scalpel. It's like a fingernail. <laughs> Just scrape it away. <laughs> See you later, arteries. <laughs> like I don't know who he's, what he's cutting. He's cutting himself or cutting his heart. I don't know what's uh, going on here. I, I don't think Cardinal knows what he's cutting, but he was cutting something. That's the main thing. And that's it. That's it. Oh, 
Oh, oh, just, oh, oh shit. Oh, oh shit. Oh, 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 and they threw the scalpel into the body there momentarily. And, and here he goes doing the unnecessary removing of heart. I know, they, they I know. And we're losing blood. We're losing blood. Get it out. Get it out. Hearts away. Hearts, hearts away. Struggle is getting the new oh, heart in, though. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. That, that, that just blood level. Still, isn't it? <laughs> I cannot that. believe that. How come I to put my hand in searching for it and you just drop it in as soon as it goes through the cavity? It's like, game over. Well done. GG's. I would say you lost most of your time trying to pick up the uh, drill at the start. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. That's, it was and kind of weird. And then the hammer that he never actually used. I, I mean, yeah. I mean, there's was lot, he going, lots of questions. Was he going for I was the scalpel? just trying to get out of the way. I was trying Why? to get <laughs> out the scalpel. Why did you pick the cup up? Were you thirsty? Did you want tea? or? <laughs> Surgery's thirsty work. I mean, what has what has threw me there is the heart is resting on top of the rib cage. It's not actually exactly. It's not the, even in the cavity. It's not even you know in what? the chest. Hacks. No, no, no. Here now, steady on. You. I mean, no, you watch your tongue. I mean, this listen that to hacks. It's a fine surgery. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, all I want to say is right. Is you lost. What you remain four four thousand six hundred forty four mils of blood, which isn't a significant increase on what I was left with. I was nearly two minutes faster, and I got a B. And Actually, you're sitting there yeah. with an A. What's I going am on? sitting there with an A. I am sitting there with an A. For all your boasting, I'm getting the A. <laughs> I knew why, because because you know you lost blood, but you've also got two hearts to pump that blood. <laughs> yeah, that's that's going to be a lot like. of blood pressure. I think I think people are just wowed here, uh, and. With that attitude, I think we need to go on to our final contestant, Tomahawk. And we don't even need the, the wheel to do this because he's the last one. I say we're spinning anyway. Wheel. I say we're spinning okay. anyway. Spin it anyway. Spin it anyway. Why not? Yeah. Spin. It's what we do in this podcast. We spin Spinner wheels. Wheel. And we Needlessly. definitely don't take four days to come back to Oh my God. <laughs> the Tom. Same recording. Tom. What a shock. What a shock. I forgot Tom. to put my mask on. <laughs> <laughs> Cut that for edit. <laughs> Here we go, Tom. Good luck. Let's go save a life, guys. So, I think going forward, my plan is similar to that of Lover Lovers. Was the hammer approach? Yes. If, if you could pick it up. <laughs> a literal smash Did... and grab. Oh my! Smash goodness. and grab would be it. I mean, like, every successful like, surgery requires a hammer. Like grazing. Like he's not even using the strong part. He's using like the bit you use to get rid of nails. The side of it. The, the claw. The claw. Chiseling. We. Uh, the, the, there was a hint of already less blood. You're just out. battering this guy. Oh, I went for. Um, it's not as quick as you do it. It's looking good while you do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did, I did originally do this left-handed. I changed the controls over. I realized they flipped every I, individual mm. control. So uh, I promptly just went, no, sod that, back to normal. So uh, when you say and... flip controls, does that mean X became down on D-pad? So, yeah, everything is... all Rather than just the hand orientation, the controls flip as well. So, so L2 was your fingers? And L2 then... is... L1 L2 was, was your down, yeah. thumb and Jeez. stuff? Jeez. Okay, are you well, sure you want this guy to live? You're just going to town in his chest there. Holy smokes. Look at the blood. <laughs> it's just going everywhere. <laughs> it's like a cut scene from Saw. My goodness. I'm getting squeamish. Jesus. I'm also looking at this now and thinking, is this the run I submitted? I mean, it, it's the run you've submitted now. <laughs> <laughs> There's no turning back. Oh, you used to be easily I do remember clutch with the blood loss scene. Oh, where's the hand gone? Where'd the hand go? Oh, what's, I, what's, I, what? paused, I paused for dramatic effect. <laughs> oh, I thought you put, I thought you were just slubbing it. your hand out. Get a new yeah. hand. Pausing is controversial just... here, boys. Does pausing stop the timer? Oh. So... Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. My thinking was get in, get out. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. See, I, I've noticed oh in God. all these all these runs, I'm the only person that dropped the heart in and then had to wriggle my hand in to get it to recognize that the heart's in. 
No, I Cardinals, think... Cardinals barely entered. It was barely past the rib cage. It's like, yep. Well done. Well done. Well, <laughs> I don't remember that copious amount of blood loss. Well, I do remember you because that's that called PTSD. Quite the time. As they say in politics, Tomahawk, it's a matter of record now. What was that time? <laughs> that's, that's it. Can you do me a favor here? No. See the th- your three times. Can you add them up and see if it's quicker than my time? Because I think it is. <laughs> I mean, certainly. It is, isn't it? It's like, certainly. It'll be, it's like it'll be right, it'll be right up there. This. I'm very curious, though, because I'm just a bit of quick mental master, and I think I'm right in saying that. I'm starting to think, though, I should get bonus points because I kept the watch on the whole time. That's, they, that's, that's, that, very that's pretty impressive. So it does keep the watch on the Also time. when you when you pause it and come back, your hands very clean. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> well, clean. Like, you went to wash your hands, I'm thinking. It's yeah. three in and he stabs the upper torso. Right. Four. Problem is it's the way that the scalpel is positioned, there's no nice way to, to look in. I thought one of you would be going for that saw to the ribs on the right hand. On I tried hands, it. I've tried it, it's not good at all. I, it does not work. It was the first thing I went for. I was like, whoa, bone saw is ready. <laughs> it was not ready. <laughs> I couldn't get it I, to work at all. I tried it for the heart in one of my runs to see if you could just like snip it in one go. Uh, no. You no. Can... Um, <laughs> it, it, well, I can, maybe a competent gamer could. <laughs> <laughs> um, to get back to Sherry's question, was... Our three times combined quicker than his individual time, <laughs> and the Damn. answer is I can proudly reveal. Drum roll. Yes, yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> How much? Um, one minute, two seconds. What? Oh <laughs> my goodness! Uh, yeah. Right. So uh, my by my maths, which may not be correct, but I, I got our combined times. Of me, Tomahawk, and Cardinals is six minutes and fifty two seconds. <laughs> I did Chris play games. I did. I did promise. I mean, it's Love has time to spare to do another run and still be in time. It, it, yeah, yeah. I reckon. As I, I don't think I could improve on my time. To be fair, like my time was blind and fast. And I was like, "Yep, that is that'll do me lovely." So, well, I will delete this game because it's. That it's was a frustrating. Move. It's frustrating, isn't it? It's it's one of those ones where uh, one thing I learned from Crash Bandicoot was I would have enjoyed the challenge a lot more if I just knew when I was at my peak. And my run was was peak lover, so it wasn't like, don't know what I've enjoyed this. It's been frustrating. And it's been difficult. It's harder than you can imagine. It's really awkward to control the L two to move your hand up and down. It's slow to react sometimes, I and mean, when you let go takes forever to for your hand to lift up again by which stage you've just dragged your scalpel across somebody's yeah. chest and cut everything and he's losing blood and it's all over you please it's stop bleeding Maitland illustrating how, how, how to hold a scalpel yeah. <laughs> I, I can't believe how how <laughs> nicely Cardinal held that it was like a scalp it, it, like, it was like a proper like Madame Deathstrike fingernail type action so it was my practices didn't go that well. My practices when I've grabbed scalpel and I'm just like washing them, like I'm just scraping <laughs> it down. The amount of practice runs I had where I ended up stabbing myself with the needle was insane. <laughs> yes, yes, and it's impossible yeah, to do anything. Funny. I have <laughs> done the surgery while you know while under the influence. We'll say, and it takes an eternity. It is so it's so long to do and. It, it absolutely and what about in game? Happiness. <laughs> well, oh well, in game. <laughs> Enough about your morphine addiction. <laughs> what about the game? <laughs> Carrying it around on surgeries on this visitors, people. <laughs> I was actually thinking when I stabbed myself with the first time, I must check to see because there's bound to be a trophy for that, like finishing an operation when. There has to be. Being injected, there has to be like. There has to be. I got a achievement or trophy, I suppose. I got a trophy for dropping the heart onto the floor, the new heart. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> How did you do that? 
I dropped it. I dropped it. And some well, of my prices. like roll off the body. So it's just like, yeah. So in a way, um, you have the wee heart box to the right of the patient, Bob, I think his name is, and you have to lift the lid and you have to bring your hand back down and grab it. And just one, I, I dropped it like three or four times in three or four different runs. And just this one time I had it with like my forefinger and thumb. It was only part of my hand I was holding it and just let go. It just a <laughs> trigger slipped and it dropped it and it rolled between Bob's head and the heart monitor and fell to the floor. <laughs> and I, I, Yeah, you can't get it. <laughs> The achievement pops. It's like, done. Well done. You're useless. <laughs> GG. <laughs> but then okay. he came back and absolutely whopped it out of the park, boys. That's what I'm saying. Well, you say that. Okay. What are we talking here? Yes, the state of play Tom is oh. Tom is top of the league with three points after his magnificent Crash Bandicoot speed run. Uh, I'm second with two points. Um, Cardinals third with one point. And holding up the league, propping up the league is Sherry with, with zero points after his, quite frankly, pathetic showing a crash bandicoot, I think would be fair to say. Am I, am, I, am I wrong, Sherry? No, you're not. But let's also not forget here that this <laughs> this podcast is nothing about a foundation and I am that foundation. Uh, and I'm uh, going to uh, stay. I'm going to stay there true and strong probably all season long. <laughs> right I mean, and noble. I think it's a beautiful sentiment, so it is. So you're going to be really glad to know that after week two, you're still going to be the foundation. Let's go! <laughs> go! I mean, you had the the slowest time. All right. And you also, like marginally, marginally, you had the lowest amount of blood remaining as well. So well, you could have got a point for that. You oh, could have got a point. If, if it took to, uh, Tomahawk a bit longer... There's no doubt he would have lost more blood than you did. But it's marginal. Way. It was close. It was close. But we'll start with times. <laughs> right, so sorry. In first place for time, and getting three points is me. One minute 39. Absolutely blistering fast. Not even sorry, lads. Uh, in second place for time and getting two points. It's Tomahawk. Oh. With two minutes board. two minutes and three seconds. Again, really fast. Really not quite that, as fast as mine, like, but that evens up the top of the leaderboard. It does right now. Oh, it does indeed. Joint top. Uh and then one point for the third fastest surgery is Cardinal Smith with three minutes and ten seconds. It's I again thought it was quick. <laughs> I, I mean, to be fair, before I played this game I would say three minutes is a fast surgery, but then I mean, not everyone can be a medical prodigy like I am. So, yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> Love a hauser. <laughs> and then we have the scores for Bloods. Like so, shipment. in first place, getting three points for this, is Cardinal Smith. Yes! With, with a quite frankly outrageous blood score of 4644. Unreal. That is unreal. That is a clean... It's fantastic. It's a clean surgery. Read A. The <laughs> squeamishness has paid off. It, it's a clean <laughs> surgery. So it is. Uh, in second place, getting two points, is... me. <laughs> With 3751. So it is 3751. So by my reckoning, Ooh. right now, I'm top of the leaderboard by two points. Ooh. But there's still one point to be given here, boys. Who's it going to go to? Well, we all know it's Tomahawk. Well. <laughs> <laughs> it's Tomahawk. However, however, it was really, really, really close. So Tomahawk, you finished off with two eight nine eight mils, and Sherry finished with two four seven three. So there's oh, wow, there's about four hundred mils in it. So I, like, I don't recall Sherry using multiple injections. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I tried so hard. All like, the injections. So but in There's... the end, it doesn't even matter. Bob's dead. <laughs> <laughs> so by my reckoning, by my reckoning, the leaderboard now looks like this. Propping up the bottom. Still our rock solid foundation for success. But not personal success, which is very selfless. I think, Sherry, well done. 
two weeks, zero points. It's quite an impressive feat when you consider the amount of points. Sorry, being on offer. I may so be the is... same as gaming by the time this is all over. <laughs> uh. In third place, with five points, is Cardinal Smith. Well done, mate. That was a good haul this week. A really good haul. A really good haul. Not quite top of the table form, but getting there. Getting there. Getting Champions the League spots. Champions League spots, mate. Well, technically, I'm in the Champions League squad uh, too. I mean, yeah. In this league, obviously, only the top one's going to go by our coefficient, which is not Tom, who's currently second with six points. Well, he's it was been, fun at the top while it lasted. He's been knocked off his perch, lads. We can all celebrate tonight. He's been knocked off his perch. He's no smug smile this week, kid. Unless you look at me, then there is smug smiles all around because I'm top with seven. It's still tight. Still tight. Still anyone's league. Uh, except maybe cherries. You didn't have to say that, but you did. <laughs> I mean, you didn't have to, but you did. There's a lot. Well, there's a lot of games to be played. I mean, yeah, there is. There, there are a lot of games to be played. Plus, we have your secret tattoo game. Unless Surgeon Simulator was that game, was it? No. No. Okay. Uh, it wasn't a crash. <laughs> for, or he also finished for. last. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Uh, you have to win at least once, right? I mean, no. this form can't continue otherwise. You know, Sherry be looking for a new manager or something. I'm just gonna sack myself. I'll just leave a teddy bear here in future. <laughs> By mutual consent. <laughs> I've decided to leave. Good luck in your future endeavors. <laughs> Please don't let it be in video games. <laughs> <laughs> but that is uh, it is it is tight. Now that he's on top. So all three of us. I think it's time. What are we doing next time on well, the next episode? Because uh, that's where we got to have a little taking down a peg or two. Ah, see, that would be telling though, wouldn't it? That would be telling. We're not going to tell you what we're doing next episode. I'm not oh. going to tell you the challenge. Not even going to tell you the game. Not even going to tell you the game. But it's going to be good. just going to have to tune in. It's going to be hard fought. And you might as well tune in again to watch it. Why not? It's going to be amazing. So it is. Drop some hints on the socials, but... The, no, you're not here. It here. Don't do cherries. <laughs> cherries <laughs> redemption tour starts next week. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it can't go much worse for him than what it has done these first two weeks. Like, I think it's only fair that we offer Sherry. I mean, I mean the opportunity to to apologise to to all of his fans out there. I mean, what's 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 what happened? What happened? There? What's, what's been going on? I've had like I've had like a really sore wrist. You know, the last couple okay. of weeks. Oh. I'm getting over it. Like the full range of motion yeah. is back. So, so that that's your excuse, Ed. Your your wrists are sore because I, I just well, recall they were they were sore. They're not I, sore anymore. I, I just recall, you know, to start the last episode, you said you had two hands. You're gonna be pretty good. I mean, we yet to see it, but I'm sure you know, it's coming. You know, but you don't you don't go into a fight going, oh, I've got a sore arm, or I've got a sore head and sore neck. They're just gonna get hitting them. So you you keep your injuries. <laughs> As a backup excuse, and you're like, actually, this is why I'm really bad. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, Jake Paul did the same. Um, so that, that's us. That's episode two is a wrap. Um, as we said, we're not going to tell you what the next game is. We're not going to tell you what the next challenge is. Just going to have to tune in, find out, and see if Sherry can pick up a single point, which at this point, I think a single point would mean everything to him. I think I think he needs a win. I think he, I think he just needs something. So maybe we should take it easy on him next week. What do you think, Cardinal? Tomahawk? Not a chance. It, no. No, I don't no. think so either, to be fair. I don't think so either. But if you fancy taking the mick out of Sherry on, on Twitter, I mean, you can find him. He's at Mr. John Sherry on Twitter. Go there, send him messages, laugh at him. Just send a video of yourself laughing at him. It'll make his day. Online so, abuse well. is very popular right now. <laughs> Honestly, give it a go. <laughs> go to town. <laughs> And if you want to find the rest of us on Twitter, I'm at Mr. Underscore Lover Underscore Lover. Uh, Cardinal, I believe you're Cardinal Underscore Smith. And Tomahawk, you are the Tom Hutton. Indeed. Yep. If you want to follow the podcast and see some of our hints of what's coming up in future episodes, give us a follow on Instagram. It is at High Scores High Stakes Podcast. And why should you there? Why not hit up the link tree and find all our other for our Discord server and whatnot? Um, and also, why not check us out on anchor.fm forward slash high scores high stakes? Uh, there you can take part in polls and you can also 
leave voice mess- messages if you want to make fun of Sherry that way. Why not? I mean, no, please don't. that's what I'm planning on doing tonight. <laughs> 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 uh, just once again thank you all for watching we'll see you guys next week with another challenge uh, another high scoring affair why not so until next time until next week love y'all bye bye be zane ciao Yes, if they had more lovers and less, I don't know, Dr. Johns, who take like hours to do that operation. Like, you're so quick. I reckon no. Rod Stewart would hire you for his wee van he's got parked outside the hospitals. I mean, I have no idea what that means. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> How have you missed this? Rod Stewart has hospital vans? Rod Stewart's paid for MRI scans around all the major UK cities. This is incredible. How have you this guy? Is he yeah. doing it himself? He's like, is he a portable MRI scanner? He drives around. All you can just imagine is this woman called Margaret waking up from an MRI scan and Rod's, wake up, Maggie. (laughs) I think I've got some bad news for you. (laughs) Oh, God. I was going to be that. Surgeon walks in like this. (laughs) One hearted. Just (laughs) drops everything on the floor. (laughs) <laughs> leaves Whistles. comes back in 20 seconds later for his watch